The shock cannon is a powerful weapon available from human tech brokers found at stations across the bubble. This weapon is available in fixed, gimbaled, and turreted mounts, though turreted weapons will only function when guided by a multi-crew gunner, and will otherwise function as fixed weapons. Shock cannons deal kinetic damage, making them best suited against the hull of a target. There is no limit to how quickly the shock cannon is able to fire, but the weapon will produce large amounts of heat and jitter when fired in tightly spaced bursts. The shock cannon is capable of a whopping 181 damage per second on its largest fixed mount variant, making it the most powerful kinetic weapon in the game. However, the actual performance of this weapon will vary based on the target, your accuracy, and rate of fire. The shock cannon's largest single downside is its ammunition reserve, which is meager at best, with only 240 rounds of storage on a 16-round auto-loading magazine. The shock cannon ammunition pool is so small that two loaded size 3 fixed mount cannons can struggle to kill something as common as a non-engineered python before the weapon's reserves are depleted. Synthesis can add time and damage potential, but the recipe is expensive and calls for materials that are not as easy to find. The shock cannon is fairly flexible despite this weakness, and can fit into most builds with a little effort. It will load your systems more than any other kinetic weapon, but it's still better than a plasma accelerator or beam laser for energy consumption. While it's possible to create a mono build with this weapon, the shock cannon works best when supported by thermal damage. It can be paired with any laser weapon on most ships, though ammunition management is still critical. The largest variants of the shock cannon can pierce armor up to 60 hardness. Many medium and large ships support armor hardened beyond this rating such that the shock cannon is less capable against them than it is against smaller ships. This means that the shock cannon is best suited to punch down on smaller targets, a factor that discourages the use of fixed mount variants in favor of the more consistent aiming of a gimbal mount. The largest gimbal variant of the shock cannon can deal 140 damage per second, significantly less than its fixed counterpart to an almost brutal degree. I still recommend the gimbaled shock cannon over the fixed version when dealing with targets smaller than you, but even here, the ammunition limits for this weapon are exposed quickly, and effective range is greatly reduced. There could be more to the shock cannon if it ever gets access to the engineering blueprints available to kinetic weapons. With a larger ammunition reserve, the shock cannon would be a real monster but in its current form, there really isn't much to write home about. That it deals kinetic damage is unfortunate, because PvP damage resistances will often hover around 50%, greatly inhibiting this weapon's performance when compared against the plasma accelerator. All things considered, the shock cannon remains one of the more interesting concepts in the game. Its firing mechanics are surprisingly satisfying, and its damage is rewarding for the size and cost, but it remains strongly disadvantaged against other conventional weapons with engineering. With overall pathetic combat endurance, limited range, weak penetration, and no ability to be engineered, the shock cannon is a weapon best avoided in most situations. While it can be successfully applied in single opponent ambushes, assassination contracts, and other high-value contracts, where opponents are limited, in any other situation, this weapon suffers greatly. The shock cannon is wholly unsuited for combat zones, resource sites, and any other large format, PvP, or long contact engagement. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.